Good morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 328. Please subscribe. Please share this. I'm saying it at the beginning instead of the end. Uh, we're in a time of year, a holiday, a festive time of year. A time of gratitude is how I really like to think of it. Yesterday in the United States, it was Thanksgiving Day. I know it's different in different countries, but I think we all have those holidays of gratitude, remembrance of gratitude. But remembrance of gratitude is also remembrance of love. Remember to love, remember to love each other, remember to love ourselves. And then remember to share that. Because as much as our heart and our being may feel full at this time of year, not everyone's does. Some of our brothers and our sisters are not in that space of celebration. Let us remember to share love all the time, but maybe especially now. And with that, today's lesson is I choose the second place to gain the first. So I choose to not think that I'm first, to not believe that I must be first. I'm not vying for that red, blue, gold medal or ribbon. I'm going to step back and let someone else, let my brother lead the way because they're the one, he is the one that knows the way or the Holy Spirit as well. Now, just four days ago, four days, a mere four days ago, we had I merely follow for I would not lead. Today, I choose the second place to gain the first. There are no levels. In truth, there are no levels. So I am first. I follow my brother and I am first to say, yes, I will follow you. You know, I think I know, but there's still some doubt around that. So until I am a hundred, a thousand percent sure that I know the way, then let me follow my brother who loves me dearly as my father loves me dearly and will is only here to lead me home. So the lesson begins with the more text-like portion that says, what seems to be second place is first. For all things we perceive are upside down until we listen to the voice for God. Now, we just had yesterday's lesson. I need but call and you will answer. So I call, you answer, and today we listen. We listen to the voice for God. And so as we listen, we receive directions. We receive the answers that we want, but I must first listen. It seems, it seems that we will gain autonomy, but by striving to be separate and that our independence from the rest of God's creation is the way in which salvation is obtained. Our freedom is obtained by being separate, by being discreet as our, uh, relevant thought, ah, we go back there, our relevant thought told us in paragraph four that we are creation, we, the sons of God, the children of God, we seem, we seem to be discreet, that's separate and distinct, and unaware of our eternal unity with him, and our eternal unity with him, our creator, is also our eternal unity with our brothers, with the entire Sonship. I haven't used that word for a while, but it's one that we need to remember. The entire sonship. Just as the creation is the sum of all God's thoughts, the sonship is indeed also the sum of all of God's thoughts, infinite in number and without any limit. That is who we are, and that is who all of our brothers and sisters are as well. Um, we do not find our freedom by walking away from others and discounting them. We find our freedom, we find our salvation in unity, community, coming together as one. In our oneness is where we truly find everything, everything that we've been looking for. Yet, that we think that's the way salvation is obtained by being separate, yet 
all we find is sickness, suffering, and loss, and death, because that's all the ego can ever offer us. This is not what our Father wills for us, nor is there any second to His will. What is all-encompassing can have no opposite. There's no second part. There's no alternative to God's will. In truth, we have free will, but if we want to receive, know, have everything that our Father wills for us, then we choose, choose, we're never forced, we're never dragged kicking and screaming into enlightenment, Janetism, <laughs> we choose to follow our Father's will. Lesson 101 and 102, God's will for me is perfect happiness, and I share God's will for happiness for me. And to join with his will is but to find our own. And since our will is his, it is to him that we must go to recognize our will. I go, I choose the second place of following to come to my father and I gain the first. I gain everything that my father wills for me and for everyone else. The second part of the lesson is the prayer, and it says, there is no will but yours. There is no will but God's. We just said that God's and God's will for me is perfect happiness. And one of the other lessons is there is no will but God's. And I am glad that nothing I imagine contradicts what you would have me be. All of the imaginary, illusory parts of this world, the ego world, ego land. All of those things, they don't really contradict God's will. They're temptations, they're idols that are presented to us for us to take up and follow and turn away from where our true happiness is. But everything that is offered by the ego is a contradiction to oneness and timelessness and eternity and true joy and peace and happiness. It is your will, God's will, that I be wholly safe, eternally at peace, and happily, happily I share that will which you, my Father, gave as part of me. It is part of us in creation. In the moment of our creation, we were given this. Now we turned away. We wandered off, but now we choose that second place to find the first, and in the first is everything. The ego tries to teach us and convince us that there is lack in this world. There is not. And that's how we're going to circle around back to where we started about sharing our love and our gratitude with others who at this moment may believe that there is lack. And we, as the ministers and messengers of God, have the ability to help them change their mind. That's it for today. I hope it helped. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe, uh, please comment, please smile, please breathe. We have two more lessons before we complete this section and of what is creation and uh and then the the next one is what is the ego which we talk about all the time namaste